Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So, Taurus, here we have your spirit monthly message for the month of August 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the month of August 2020 doesn't mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you at that moment. Yes? Okay, great, Taurus. So let's get into your spirit monthly message here. I have your pre-shuffle and it starts, I'm starting you off with the nine of swords. Then you have the eight of cups. You have the world and then you have the ten of wands at the bottom, uh, 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 after that. And then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the three of cups. Um... Taurus, I feel like you, and then underneath the Three of Cups is the Two of Wands. I feel like you have really made a major decision and have closed out a major cycle recently, okay? Um, and that's a really good thing, all right? You walked away from something or someone, some, uh, someone, something, a job, a career opportunity, a, 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 a path you were walking down, whatever. You walked away from something, you left something behind, and it allowed you to close out a cycle. And yet I feel like, well, I'm, I'm feeling two things. The first thing that I'm feeling is that you are unnecessarily worrying. Like you're putting all kinds of doubt and fear and, and extra burdens on yourself right now just because, just because this situation is, 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 a, is about to close out, is in the process of closing out. It could also be that maybe the situation has closed out already and, and now you're like stricken with fear because you don't know what's coming next. And it's all that fear, that worry, that doubt, that, that anxiety, all that, that's all just making your load even harder to handle. And, and Taurus, you're the bull, right? So Torrens can really, Torrens are fucking tanks, dude. Like y'all can really do anything. Y'all can carry, y'all can shoulder the burden. <laughs> Yeah, I can carry this. But the question is, Taurus, do you really need to be carrying all that? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? All right. So don't worry about it. I mean, whatever it is you've got going on here, the universe is celebrating with you because, yeah, you made a decision here. Okay, so take the load off your shoulders, Taurus. That's why maybe I'll... Maybe that's what I want to title this reading. Take the load off your shoulders. Because, like, why do you need to be carrying all that, you know? Hmm. Okay, so, with that said, I'm just going to give this one clearing shuffle. And then we're going to get into the rest of it. See? Okay. Vamos. Here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Taurus, five shuffles, one. Um, and also, I forgot to mention the second thing that I was feeling with the nine of swords and the 10 of wands. I feel like, this is two, I feel like um, some of you, whatever it is that you closed out, walked away from, has really lightened the load for you. And like, what's closing out is a, 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 time a time in your life where you were shouldering extra burden that really was not yours to take to begin with, okay? So life could really become much easier for you at this point from here on out, moving forward. This is three. For my Taurin, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> this is four. So I'm rather than Venus and Jupiter. <laughs> Man, do I crack myself up. And this is five. Okay. Here we go. Boop. Overall energy. Oh. The two of swords. Look, Taurus, I feel like somebody out here, I feel like somebody out here is being real stubborn. 
real bullheaded right now. I, I, I'm, uh, Taurus, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you are refusing to see something. You're refusing to see something clearly. You're refusing to see something for what it is. It may very well be that you've got this, these belief systems in your mind that are just running, 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 and you don't want to let go of them. Even though, this is crazy, even though it feels like you have closed out a cycle and you're moving on to a new cycle, you have the potential to start a new, a brand new life for yourself, Spirit just said, yet... You're taking all that toxic baggage from the past, those belief systems, the mental stuff, you're taking all that with you. And that's only going to make, have you creating, recreating what it is you just came out of. Underneath the two of swords is judgment. <laughs> Good Lord, Taurus, underneath... Taurus. Underneath judgment is the Ten of Wands, again. And then underneath the Ten of Wands is the Ace of Pentacles. Bag lady, you gon' hurt your back, dragging all them bags like that. How do you expect, no, like Taurus, really, like, Taurus, like, let's be real for a second. How do you expect to get this, your new beginning, your Ace of Pentacles, Spirit just said your Ace of Cups even, how do you expect to get this when you're you're carrying all of this? And like I said, you have been uh, you're in a you have the opportunity to start a brand new life for yourself. Like spirit is literally blowing the horn. This is the wake up call. Judgment. Hello, it's time to wake up. This would be one of those times where my my roosters, the, the, my my chicken neighbors, my roosters would. I would love it if they were here right now because it's like wake the fuck up. You know what I mean? Okay. But yet you're refusing to see something, Taurus. You're refusing to let go of the drama, the burdens, the strife from the past, even though you are like literally right at, at the precipice, right on the edge, right in front of the door. The door is even open and you're about to walk through this, cross this line into this new reality, or some of you may actually be in this new reality. And yet you're still carrying around the burdens from the past. The belief systems, the belief structure, Spirit just said, from the past. You've got to let this go if you really truly want to take advantage of this new life you have. Okay? All right. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the first half of your reading, you've got strength. And yet, and yet, what I'm hearing, what, what I'm literally hearing right now, Taurus, for this strength card is holding on too tightly. So technically, this really should be the Four of Pentacles. Maybe we'll see the Four of Pentacles come out with coupled with this card or maybe later on in the reading, but your pride and your ego are causing you to hold on too tightly. That's what strength, that's why strength is saying holding on too tightly. All right? Pride and ego, Taurus. Yeah, pride and ego. Instead, what you really should be doing, what you really should be doing is using the strength that you are so forcefully holding on to whatever it is you need to be letting go of and taking that strength to rise above, try something new, do something different. And Taurus, I know you're a fixed sign. You don't like new things, but at some point in life, something has to change. But the message Taurus, the Taurus, the message here is that it, if you want something different, you've got to change your approach. You've got to change your belief systems. You've got to change your belief structure. Cause if you don't, you're just going to get the same things over again. We get that which we believe. We, we, we get that which we believe. We receive that which we believe. So if you want something different, then you have to believe something different. You have to allow yourself to believe something different. You have the strength. You have to have the strength to allow yourself to believe something different. Strength is coupled with, no matter what other people have to say about it. Right, okay. Strength is coupled with Oh, it's not the Four of Pentacles, but it is the Four of Cups. Taurus, you are really missing... You are really missing an opportunity here. Like, some of you are like... I just heard Spirit say there is a potential partner that is, that is about to show up at your doorstep, and you are not even paying attention for fear of what the outcome might be. Which is... This is now, this is directly related... Oh, okay. This is directly connected or directly related to your love reading. So if y'all are not on Patreon, I suggest you <laughs> follow me on Patreon, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, honestly, 
And this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be a business partnership. This could be a career. Sorry. This could be a career opportunity. This could be a change in your career. You know, that, that kind of thing, right? You have to have the strength to take up this cup, Taurus, and say, okay, I'll try something new then. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, Six of Pentacles. Care and compassion and reciprocity. <laughs> the balance of give and take is what Spirit just said here. And then they went on to say that your ego is so hard body right now that it's keeping you from allowing the, the flow of abundance from the universe to drop into your lap. It is literally holding you back. It is literally holding you back from receiving what the universe has been trying so desperately to give you, which is, oh, by the way, what you've been asking the universe for anyway. And now I'm picking up that, like, there are some of you out there that are, like, actually really getting mad at the universe right now. Talking about, like, why? Yo, what the fuck, universe? Like, I've been asking you for all these things. I've been doing my law of attraction, this, that, and the third, and I'm still not getting what I want. Like, what the hell is your problem? And the universe turns right around, whips around, and says, bitch, what's your problem? Why you got all this shit standing in the way? I can't give it to you if you don't have space for it. Don't blame me. It ain't my fault. Ooh. It ain't my fault. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm, okay. Excuse me. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Five of Wands. Mm, mm, Taurus. The Five of Wands is an ego battle. The Five of Wands is differing of opinion. The Five of Wands is a pissing contest. There could be, there. the Spirit is saying this is involved, this is directly related to your belief structure, which very well could have come from your family. Okay. But think of it this way. It's it's your relationship. Oh, that's a problem. Sorry, I just noticed something about my screen that's literally allowing bugs and mosquitoes into my apartment. But anyway, them damn skaters. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, 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 the belief structure from your family or from your early life or whatever, uh, think about it this way. What is your relationship like with money? Are you an overspender? Like, do you get, do you like get lots of money and then just spend it right away? Like, oh no, now I have no money to like pay my rent and shit, right? Or are you like an extreme hoarder and feel like, um, you know, you're never going to get money back. You don't know when you're going to make more money, blah, 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 blah. And so you hold on too tightly to it. That's very much a four of pentacles energy. And there are some people around you that lack the belief system that will alter their reality and allow them to receive the universal flow of abundance that everybody has access to. Okay. And so that is causing you to believe in the same thing. Whether these be your friends, whether these be your family, or they're just like colleagues, people that you work with, people part, part of the community, blah, blah, blah. Very much a hive mind type thing. Very much a hive mind type thing, okay? Um, but that only keeps you stuck there with them. And then, and but you're the, you're the, we'll call you the weird one. Well, you're the weird one or you're the odd man out that's over here working with like law of attraction, trying to manifest things, blah, 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 boop de boop de boop and all that shit. But it's not working for you. Well, right. It's not going to work for you if you still believe that they're, that you're lacking in some way. It's not going to work for you if you don't have the space to allow the universe to bring to you that which it is that you want, that you're asking for. And so now at this point, what needs to happen is either you, Spirit just said, you need to change the game on them and change your belief system. No, you don't have to tell them about this. Okay? Because what, what, you're, what you're up against right now is a really strong, a Spirit just said, it's a very strong, Ooh, is a strong belief system, okay? So you don't want to go up, you don't want to have to go up against that. You don't want to fight against them. So just change your belief system and don't worry about that. Don't talk about it. Don't, let, don't allow them into it, right? 
And you don't have to cut yourself out, off from these people either. Just like remove yourself from that belief structure and then start manifesting what it is you want and watch it come to you. And then when they're asking you, yo, what the fuck? How did you, how did, they do, how did he or she do that? Well, that's when you can tell them, oh, oh, that belief system that I changed up, you know, I don't believe that shit no more. Your challenge, Taurus, in the first half of your reading is the Knight of Cups, following your heart, being compassionate, being open towards, pro being open to progress is what Spirit just said. But also following your heart and not this hive mind mentality. Yeah, that's a challenge for you, Taurus. Your belief system is everything. And it's not just because you're a Taurus, it's because you're a human being, you're a conscious creator. So your belief system is everything. But I feel like for a lot of you, your belief system is really tied in with what other people think. Very material, very tangible. Obviously, you're a Taurus. Okay, but the spirit, is asked, the spirit is asking you to lead with your heart and not with your mind on this one. Because you are an infinitely powerful being with... You could do anything. Knight of Cups is coupled with... The three of wands. So you, spirit is saying some, something has set you on this path already. It could just be you've been on this path all along of needing to learn these things and gain these, this wisdom. Maybe some of you are, are meant to be leaders in some way. All right, cool. But you've been on this path all along. You just really need to trust your heart that everything is going to be okay. And also with the three of wands, the three of wands talks about... Uh, um, talks about uh, waiting for a return on an investment, right? And when you follow through with what your heart is calling you towards, you will receive that return on your investment. It's all about following your heart here, Taurus, okay? You have to trust, believe, and have faith. Be faithful. Somebody out here really does not trust anything that cannot be seen. Like, if I can't see it with my own eyes, I don't believe it. Well, that is directly what's holding you back right now. Because you need to, you need to believe it in order to see it. Right? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus. Four of Wands. Look at you. Happy family life. Happy home. Success. Victory in building this new... I'm hearing building this new relationship, um, a managing job well done. These are all random things that I'm hearing right now. Um, maybe success in rebuilding this new foundation for you. That's a good thing. Like this new spiritual mental foundation, right? Four of Wands is coupled with. Huh! Justice. There you go. Okay, something could be leading to a marriage here. Um... This really mostly feels like a, a, a potential outcome for you, Taurus. I really feel like if you were to put the work in here and really change your mind, change the way you focus on things, change the belief system, your belief structure, that's re basically reformatting your foundation and that's gonna bring you justice, maybe some serious justice into your life, right? Look, take me for an example. I mean, a lot of the time, well, I don't, I don't really identify with tropical astrology anymore. I'm more of a sidereal astrology person. In sidereal astrology, I'm an Aries sun. But in tropical astro astrology, I am a Taurus sun. And so I kind of believe, like, you know, I was kind of like, mm, I don't really like change. I don't want to do anything differently, blah, 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 blah. But that's not really the case. I'm, I'm, I'm very much an Aries man. I'll change up real quick. Okay, <laughs> without you even noticing or without me even telling you, I'll change it up on you real quick. And so, but for the Torrens out there, I understand that you don't really like change too much. I do. But see, like for me, I changed my belief systems, belief system years ago. When I really, if you're new to me, then <clears throat> there's a whole backstory that you don't know, but I'm divorced and uh, I got divorced like two years ago. And in the process of getting over that divorce, going through a twin flame activation and, and just working on myself, I changed my belief systems, which allowed me to attract this line of work, 
which allows me to support myself by being a card reader on YouTube, which also allowed me to move to Puerto Rico. Oh, by the way, I live in Puerto Rico now. Nah, so your belief system really is everything, Taurus. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to mosey on over to Spirit Monthly Messages part two for you. That's going to be over on Patreon. If you're not following me on Patreon, I highly suggest that you go ahead and do so. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. There are two tiers. The first tier is um, Spirit Monthly Messages part two, which is only $5 a month. The second tier is the top tier. And that that's $7 a month, and that gives you Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2, also gives you the monthly love readings, and also gives you anything else that I do, like whether it be an after-hours reading or an oracle reading or a specific twin flame message, if that comes through, if Spirit wants me to do that. So there you go, all right? So if you want to do that, please go ahead and do so. We have a lot of fun over there. But if not, if, we're not, if I'm not going to see you over there, then I thank you so much, and I appreciate you so much for being here, and I hope this was helpful for you. And... I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>